Hey everyone, this is a super quick video on how to download and activate your Dehancer key for Adobe Premiere Pro. This is assuming you've already purchased a version of Dehancer. To download it, you want to head over to their website and click video. And then from there, you want to hit the blue button in the center of the screen that says download and get free trial. Once you've selected that, you want to select your host application, in my case, After Effects slash Premiere Pro, your operating system, for me, Windows 10, and the product, either Pro or Lite. I have Pro and then download. All right, so find your .zip folder that you just installed and open it. Here you'll see a bunch of um, other files in here, but the two main ones are the CUDA and OpenCL.exe uh, files. If you're not sure which one you have to install for your computer, open the .txt file and you can see for CUDA, have an Intel processor and NVIDIA GPU, and for OpenCL, Intel or any, any GPU. So basically, if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, download the OpenCL, and if you have an NVIDIA GPU like me, download the CUDA. So once you've installed the correct installer for your computer, uh, you wanna go through all those steps and then head over to uh, Premiere Pro. Once you are in Premiere Pro, you want to open an already existing project or just make a completely new one, either works, as long as you have an adjustment layer or some kind of footage that you can drag onto the timeline to apply the effect to. To find the Dehancer effect, head over to the effects panel and search in Dehancer and drag and drop it onto your footage. Head over to the effects controls panel and scroll down a little ways until you find license info under the Dehancer effect. Click license info and then you'll be prompted with this Dehancer window. In the window, select enter license key and type in your email and then copy and paste your activation key that you should have gotten in your email. So once you've uh, entered your email and pasted your activation key, all you have to do next is click activate plugin. And there you go. Obviously some of this info is gonna be blurred out, but you can see now Dehancer plugin is activated. And all you need to do now is just click close. Make sure to uh, save your project, close Premiere Pro, and then reopen it and the watermark should be gone. That's it for this video. I hope this tutorial helped. I do have a full Dehancer review coming soon. Maybe by the time you're watching this, it's already out and it'll be on the top right of the screen. But anyways, hope you have a good day and I'll see you later.